Hello everyone, how y'all doing? I've been meaning to make a follow-up video on my Tamiya 959 restoration that I finally completed. Uh, took me a little bit over five months. Uh, have a, uh, sometimes I have a pretty busy work schedule, so, you know, um, as time allots, that's what I usually do a little bit here, a little bit there. Uh, but uh, I just definitely wanted to go over a couple things, a couple issues. Uh, that I had when restoring it, um, just in case if anyone out there is wanting to restore yours, um, this might help you, save you some time, might even save you some money. Um, so I, I, let me start off by saying that by far, I think this is the hardest restoration um, of any of my collections that I've done. And I've been doing this since 1983. So uh, not a fan of, of, of the body. I love the body, but not a fan of how hard it was to to get it right. Um, and I'll show you some something that I did that was really cheap and really easy um, when it comes to uh, getting your lines right. Okay, so I did a lot of research. You know, I'd look at these pictures of everybody that was restoring theirs and seeing how they did theirs. And a lot of people uh, that I saw would cut their decals and then tape it, right? Well, um, I was able, I mean, she looks really good. I was really impressed. Uh, and suffice to say that the mechanical part of the restoration as for as small as the parts were, man, you know, it, it didn't cause me, uh, any problems. I didn't have any problems, but what I did was on eBay, you can get these, um, uh, they're definitely knockoffs, but they're the right scale. Um, and I got them from UK and, you know, they're kind of cool, you know, they're kind of cool, especially for mapping out lines. Um, it's like 10, 11 bucks, right? I've got more than, more than one set and, um, uh, it doesn't take long to get here. So anyway, uh, and I like, I rather, you know, done it this way. I tried the taping part, but you know, uh, sometimes it, I don't know. So I've done it that way before and, and, um, definitely messed up on the lines, but with these, you can actually, you know, you keep that protective co co covering on the outside and just go ahead and just, um, you know, put your decals on, get your lines down, right? So you want to get your lines down same way here, right? And then that, and then at that point, now you can go underneath and, You know, um, that's what I did anyway. Went underneath with the tape and uh, proceeded to tape out my lines. So uh, it really came out good. I was I was real impressed. Okay, so that was the uh, one. That was the first issue that I that I had um, that caused me a problem. Second issue, like as you see, I've, I'm I'm using slicks. Um, back in '86. Uh, 959 was, you know, it was popular. So uh, I was able to get slicks and, and you know, of course, it came with the rally, uh, off-road rally block tires. Um, but after sitting in your closet uh, or in your attic for over 30 years, um, everybody knows uh, how hard tires, how those semi-pneumatic tires can get, right? Um, it's sad, depressing, especially if you have some type of tread. But uh, one thing that I did do, and then I'll, I'll show you guys was I was able to cut um, the newer like rally block tires Let's see if I can get a good picture or close anyway oh. there, you can see that line right there so what I did is I hold up here here we go what I did is I found a pattern, like a tread pattern. Yeah, that's a lot better. Sorry about that. Let's see if I can find it. It looks so good that, and I can tell you, I've ran it, and um, they're holding up great. But there, you can actually see, kind of, right there is where I've where I cut it. Um, right there. The important thing is, you know, use some sharp scissors, and you want to be exact. The rally blocks are really easy, so I took out basically that much, right? And 
then use tire glue and when you crazy glue it like it works great but you know it, when i saw these online i'm like oh my gosh you know uh, it's the same tires well no they're not the same tires they're close um which got me thinking like okay how am i how am i gonna do this and you know i've seen people take uh, their tires like old hard tires and put them in a plastic bag and um, wd-40 them well I, the way I condition my plastics, okay, my um, vintage plastics is, you know, I'm not one that believes in soaking in water. I, I don't, to me, I think it does, you know, damage um, more than, than uh, you know, reduce the, the brittleness of, of, of the aging plastics. So what I've always done is I've used uh, oil, right? And I'd let it sit for four to six days. Well, I never did hard tires that way so i did uh my original uh, block block uh, rally block tires and if they didn't have tread i would not have even messed with it but you know these things are, are great you know they're still in great shape so i'm gonna it's been sitting in there sorry it's been i just want to show you my uh geek room i, I love it right this is my my home within my home but anyway um so it's been in here i think uh going on three days and i'm telling you these tires were so stiff and so hard that i'll tell you right there okay look at this right like unbelievable that's amazing. You know, I'm going to clean these, dry these out, and I'm actually going to run them. You know, I'm going to use them. And I, I wasn't sure, to be honest. I was not sure if that was going to work. But uh, by golly, I think um, I think that's a winner, winner chicken dinner, right? So this thing here, I mean, it feels just as soft as my brand new you know, um, one tenth scale. So, and by the way, these were, I forgot to mention, these were one tenth, of course. And, um, you know, all you need to take out is, you know what? Hold on. I should have. Okay. You know, like I said, I've, I've done more than, more than my share. Okay. There you go. That is about, it's actually one millimeter. So I took off one millimeter of thickness um, of the tires and, and then I uh, glued them with a uh, tire glue, uh, and they're great. So, and now that I just went ahead and it looks like, it looks like these are back, uh, that, that, that uh, I don't know. I'm not going to say that the, that the, that, that it soaked up the oil, but it sure did break it down to where it is definitely soft. And I'm kind of curious, uh, because it did have some white oxidation around it. Um, uh, wonder if that, uh, if it took care of that as well. So at any rate, guys, there you have it. Um, thanks for letting me share that with you. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please leave, leave them in the comment section. Um, if you know, if you all did something that, that um, uh, saved you time and that worked well, you know, let's just pass it around, right? Let's pass out that, that, that experience and that help. Uh, we all love this hobby, so that's what we do. Um, next time, whenever you're restoring something, try taking regular motor oil, right? And get your container and you know it's great for soaking those uh those uh suspension arms and and bulkheads right i've i've actually jumped this <laughs> quite a bit uh since i've restored it and she's not cracked or chip at all you know so she's got to be careful um these things are old but you know uh definitely um can withstand uh off-road right
So anyway, thanks guys. I appreciate it. Y'all have a wonderful evening. Um, have a uh, wonderful, ho safe holiday and uh, a great New Year's.